All right, here's the scenario you're probably working with. You've got two speakers and you want to have like separate subtitles for them, right? So what you did is you created two subtitle tracks, one for one speaker, one for the other. However, you find you have this problem. You click one on and it automatically turns the other one off, which you don't want. You actually want both of these to display at the same time. Well, unfortunately, this is by design. I'd call it by bad design. Thanks, Adobe. So they did, however, create a workaround that you can follow that will actually walk you through how to fix this. Or you can watch a couple exceptionally terrible YouTube videos on how to do this. Or just continue watching mine because I'm going to make this quick and clear, just like I always do on this channel. All right, so I've created my subtitle tracks. I've done them exactly how I want them in regards to this one's on the left side, I've done the background, everything like that. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go up to File, New, Transparent Video. This is going to create a transparent video file. By default, it should already be set to whatever the time base and width and height is for your video. If not, make sure it matches. Hit OK. Then in your project panel, when you have that, just drag and drop it onto the timeline above your video and stretch it out so that it is the length of all of the captions. So you can see my captions start here, my captions end here. So I want that transparent video to match that length. Now, basically decide which one of these two sets of subtitles you want to copy over is basically what we're doing here. Um, just pick the one that you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do this one just because there is less text in it. Go to your Windows, Workspaces, Caption and Graphics, and then what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you've selected all of those captions. So you can do it this way, which is clicking and then just dragging along with your mouse. Or if you're up here in the Captions panel, just click and then do a Control-All and that'll select it as well. So either way, as long as it's selected, that's what matters. If you didn't adjust any of your settings prior to this, you can do it now as well. So when they're all selected, you can change like your alignment, you can change your fill color if you want, um, you can change your font and size. So you want to do this when they're all selected, that way everything's going to match. So if you didn't do it before, do it now, but at this point, make sure it's done. So now with all of that selected, I'm holding my shift key, I'm clicking on my shift key, I'm selecting my transparent video, so you can see now both are selected, the subtitles that I'm going to copy over to it and the transparent video. Right click on the transparent video anywhere on the video as long as you've selected it and then you're going to go to this option here nest click on that you can name it if you want i'm just going to leave it at the default and hit ok now what it's did you notice i no longer have any of those subtitles on that subtitle field they're now into the nested video so that when i click on this subtitle one i have both the subtitles on the left and the subtitles on the right. Again, I don't know why other YouTube videos need to take twice as long and play crappy background music in order to show you how to do this. Hopefully that was clear, and as always, have a good day.